Here at CyberVista, in addition to content, we also talk a lot about test day strategy. And a very important part of test day strategy is your mindset. So our best advice for your mindset is to make sure that you're confident, but also at the same time, you wanna be somewhere between suspicious and paranoid. And that's because test makers are out to trick you. So test makers have been tricking test takers for a very, very long time, but we think their time is up. So as Abraham Lincoln would say, you can fool all the people some of the time and some of the people all the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. So this week on Quitna, let's talk about how not to get punked. So when you get to a tricky question, a good first step is to make the question a little bit easier. So you do that in two ways. You eliminate things from the question that aren't helpful or are a distractor. So let's read this question. Basically, if I want to reword this question in my own words, it's saying, what kind of filtering does IDS perform? And they have this information here, but that's really not relevant or helpful because it doesn't matter where you put your IDS, whether it's on a network or on a host or somewhere else, that's not gonna change the function of the IDS. So really let's simplify it to saying, what kind of filtering does the IDS perform? And the other thing that we can do is make associations with the content that we already know. So I know an IDS and you could compare that to an IPS. So let's write down what we know about the differences between those two. So uh, IDS, that D stands for detection. Compare that to the P, which is prevention. So you know, just thinking about the words, that uh, IDS, that just does detection, would have limited functionality. So really all it can do is detect and alert. Compare that to IPS that can also detect and alert, but it can also take the extra step of prevention. So really, if you think about it, that's the answer to the question right there, right? If IDS, all it does is the text and alert, it doesn't actually stop or filter traffic. Well, IDS doesn't do a type of filtering. This is actually a oxymoron. So we immediately jump to the right answer here, which is none. So if you had kind of read that question and jumped ahead a little bit too quickly, you'd probably be picking either packet because the IDS does inspect packets, that's true, that's true. And based on its functionality, it can do either stateful or stateless. More intelligent form would be stateful, but a more um, basic form of IDS that's maybe dependent on an ACL or something like that, that would be stateless. But again, they're all related, but the right answer choice in this case, because it says filtering, would be C, none. At CyberVista, we know content is basically half the battle. In addition to knowing your stuff, you also have to know how to navigate some of those tricky questions. And that's why all of our courses come with very detailed test day strategy videos. So I hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you next week on Quitna. <laughs>